Hey, rich friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from the Money Mantra, and we are back with another Forex education video. I created this channel to help people just like you become independent and profitable traders within the foreign exchange market. So if that's something that you're working on, you have found yourself in the right place. I do want to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have been on the hunt for an easy way to understand Forex trading and you're tired of losing trades, this is going to be the best channel for you. So just go ahead and make sure that you subscribe. I did also launch a simplified and easy learning portal for you to actually get in there and start to take your own trades sooner than later. So if you have been looking for a mentor or a structured learning environment, make sure you check out the Money Mantra mobile app and you can find that information down below in the description box. And to all of my returning subscribers, anybody who has found value in this channel, me, money with me, and just learn with me over the course of the last two years. Welcome back. Today is going to be another useful video, and it is going to be a trade locker tutorial. Now, Trade Locker is one of the newer trading apps that have hit the market. I do have a few videos on it so that people can familiarize themselves with the platform. But on today's video, we're going to be going over how to actually customize your trade locker chart. So I usually like to have my things in dark mode. My entire phone is in dark mode, but if that's not something that you prefer, you do have the option to change it either in your phone settings or on your trade locker settings. But today we're gonna work on doing it directly through trade locker. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do or the first option that you have that I'm gonna show you to customize your chart is how to change the background from dark mode to light mode or vice versa. Now, you won't be able to see when I click this, but I will explain to you where the button is. So at the top of my screen, you'll see where it says AUD USD, trades, and then profit and loss demo. Now, under the profit and loss demo tab, there's going to be a little settings gear. And we're going to go ahead and click on the settings gear. So here's where you'll see all your chart basic styles. And it's where you can actually start to modify your chart. So as, as we can see, my background is a solid black. But if I were to change it to solid white, this is what it will look like, which is a little bit closer to trading view and is use, is what most people are actually used to seeing. So that's the first thing that you can do to customize your chart. The next thing that you can do is if you go back into the settings, and this is something that I really love, is to turn on your watermark. And your watermark is just so that you can know which currency pair you're looking at at that time. So once I click OK, you can actually see that AUD USD one hour has popped up in the back of my screen. If I were to go to AUD USD um, on the 15 minute, you will also see that now on the back of my screen now that it's watermarked. Now, let's say I wanted to actually change the currency pair just to make sure that my watermark is transferable. If I actually click where it says AUD USD at the top, and let's just say I wanted to look at Euro GBP, once I click it, we can see that the watermark has changed to Euro GBP on the 15. So now I have my white background, I have my watermark, and this is going to be helpful, especially if you do share your charts or if you do tend to look at a lot of different currency pairs, just so that you're not getting confused on what you're actually doing at that time. Now we're gonna go back into the settings and these are all things that you can change as far as the canvas is concerned. But if I click back, you'll see there are other options that we can modify on our chart as well. So if we click, for example, scales, we'll be able to see what the symbol's last price was, which is already turned on. We make sure that there's no overlapping and that our countdown to bar close is on. This just means that there will be a ticker um, so that you can know exactly when the next candle is going to open. Now, if I click high and low price on and then click OK, you can actually see that the highest place that price went is now on my chart. Also, the lowest place that price went is also on my chart. And this will be extremely helpful when you're getting into setting your stop loss and take profit areas. Now, a third customization that I like to add on my chart is, let me just go ahead and go to symbol. You can also change the colors of your candles if you like. Now, I know some of us are used to seeing blue and red candles, and some of us are used to seeing green and red candles. 
So if you actually wanted your candles to be, your buy candles to be blue instead of green, again, you could just go into the settings, go into symbols, and then go ahead and click OK. And then your chart will actually look like this. So these are some basic customizations that you can do to make your chart a little bit more user friendly for you. I do encourage you guys to go in and click all of the settings and actually see what they do. And again, if you want to change it back from light to dark mode, you just go into your settings, make sure you're in the appropriate tab. In this case, it'll be canvas. We can change our background to black or any other color. Maybe you want to get festive and change it to pink for whatever reason. You do have the option to do that. But that's really all I have for you guys today. I hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down below um, in the comment section. And if you would like to register for a personal mentorship, have me as a mentor or join a structured learning environment with a community of other traders, the information is down below in my description box. So that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, rich friends.